Well, hello, everyone. Um, before I start the readings uh, from the video of the February 2nd, 2021, of course, um, we had an unusual situation this time, actually two of them. Um, first of all, um, I got a, a very generous donation, as you can see down here. Uh, Double Sue uh, gave a $100 donation. Wow. Um, and I've gotten some other generous donations um, over the lifetime of the the show, uh, three years. Um, but uh, some of them wanted to remain anonymous and stuff, so I didn't uh, post their, their donations. But this time... Uh, uh, Double Sue was uh, was gracious enough to let me post her name. So, thank you, Double Sue. I will greatly appreciate it, and it will go toward Terry and Al Spirit Stocking. Um, and uh, gas and everything that we need to get to our locations. Um, now... First, I'm going to do the drawing, and Sue had not requested a drawing, but considering her generous donation, I'm adding her into the drawing anyway. Now, Sammy's, uh, Sammy's spiritual adventure, Sammy's spiritual journey, um, had uh, requested a dream reading and I contacted her contacted her regarding that and she never responded so I can't do that dream reading this time around but if she uh, was to contact me in the future I can do that for her but anyway I'm listing her in the names for the drawing too um, since she requested one um, and uh, the rest of them that requested drawings as uh, was the rules. So uh, here we go. I am going to, without further ado, put you over to the drawing wheel. As you can see, everyone's name is listed up there. And it's going around, ready for me to click the spin button to announce uh, this uh, this winner for all four drawings, or all four readings, I'm sh sorry, I should say. I can't speak today. But here we go. Drum roll, please. And it goes to Cecilia. Congratulations, Cecilia. You have won all four readings. Anyway, Cecilia is the, the winner, and uh, let me see if I can find uh, her name. Uh, her full name is uh, Raven Cat Homestead Cecilia is her full YouTube name. Raven Cat Homestead Cecilia. So, we got that out of the way. Now, let me get on to those readings. So, here we go. Let's get those readings started. Okay. All I have to do is snap my fingers, look down, and uh, I bet it'll all be set up, almost. So, here we go.
voila. There we have it. Just about all set up. Got to add my runes or my stones. Next, we'll do the singing bowl. I'm calling forth all my spirit guides to help me with these readings. Okay. Now, let's light some incense. I'm using the wrong lighter. Here's the one I want. Love this torch lighter. It does not mess around. Okay. That'll go out here in a second. There it went. Okay. The first card goes to rain. Rain. Okay. Okay, Rain. You have... First of all, you have victory. Archangel Sandalfon, your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. Victory. Oops. Excuse my dog snoring in the background. Okay, next is Clairvoyance. Archangel Raziel, I'm helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. Now, spiritual understanding. And your says, Archangel Raziel, I am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you to understand spiritual truths. Okay, victory, Archangel Sandalfon. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. You deserve this time of victory. Your unwavering focus and dedication have resulted in blissful manifestation. Peace and pleasant feelings are yours right now. Let your focus be on this present moment and savor each feeling and fully ex fully experience each feeling and experience fully know that the future is taken care of in a positive way as you allow yourself to enjoy the present moment feel good about who you are and know that your success benefits others Sandalfon is one of two angels who were mortal men who lived such remarkable spiritual lives that they ascended into archangeldom, the other one being Metatron, 
Sandalfon can help your life be a masterpiece as well. Ask him to help you live in integrity with your spiritual gifts of prop prophecy, healing, and manifestation fully awakened. Sandalfon can help you speak your truth openly in a way that benefits everyone. It will also help you appreciate all the miracles and victories of every size in your life. Okay, next is clairvoyance. Here we go, clairvoyance. Archangel Raziel. I'm helping your spiritual sight to fully awaken so you can see heavenly love. Additional messages. Your clairvoyance may come in different forms as fleeting men mental images of your mind's eye as dreams, as recurring sights in the physical world, as auras and energy, or as apparition experience. All the facets, facets of clairvoyance are beautiful and varied. Enjoy and trust them. Hold the intention of seeing only love, and that's what you will see. Working with Archangel Raziel. Raziel's aura holds with all the colors of the rainbow, like a beautiful prism, of light working with clear quartz crystals magnifies clairvoyance and helps you feel closer to Raziel. and the last one is spiritual understanding here we go spiritual understanding archangel Raziel, i'm bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths Additional messages. Your spiritual understanding is raising to another level as you open up to new ways of looking at life. Keep an open mind and let go of limited thinking and illusions. Pay attention to signs, information that comes to you three or more times. Notice geometric shapes and symbols in your physical and psychic vision. Know that your increased awareness may shift your Relationships and career goals. I'll guide you through these changes so your life mirrors your inner experiences. Working with Archangel Raziel. As a wizard and alchemist of the Archangel realm, Raziel helps us understand ideas that identify normal logic. He explains and challenges everyday thinking in ways that ultimately have healing effects. If you hunger for deep spiritual understanding, Ask Raziel to enter your dreams. You'll still travel with him to classrooms where he'll help you uncover truths and secrets. Upon awakening, you may not fully remember or understand Al Raziel's dreamings, Raziel's teachings. Yet this knowledge is permanently embedded in your subconscious where it guides you through out each day. So there you go, Rain. Next, we have Rashida. Yeah, like some people on YouTube, I uh, I don't charge for readings. If I have a gift, I want to share it with everyone and not profit off of it. Although, although donations are always welcome and appreciated. But I will not charge anybody for a reading. And with a donation, you will automatically be added to the list for the special drawing. Even if you haven't asked for a drawing, you will be entered into the list. 
anyway, back to Rashida. Okay, gifts from God. Archangel Sandalphon, we angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. Additional message. Heaven is expansive and ever incre increasing. One of the ways in which heaven expands is through giving and sending love continuously. This love is sent your way in many forms, and only your task, and your only task, is to be willing to receive. Right now, the prayer, the answers to your prayers, await your willing reception. Open your arms to these gifts. Your Creator wills that you be happy, healthy, secure, and that. All your needs will be provided. Release any fears of receiving to me. Work with Archangel Sandalphon. One of Sandalphon's principal roles is to deliver and hear our prayers. Sandalphon says that every prayer is heard and answered, although the answer may come in different forms than we expect. All prayers of equal importance are of, all prayers are of equal importance in heaven. And there are plenty of angels to help everyone on earth. Call upon Sandalphon when you need help in allowing yourself to receive. And last one, clear your space. Clear your space. Archangel Jophiel. Get rid of clutter, clear the energy around you, and use Feng Shui. Your home and work environments affect you on many levels. Clutter can erode your energy, creativity, and prosperity. I'll help you find the time and motivation to clear interfaces from your, from your physical environment. Together, we'll release anything that's not serving you. We'll donate, recycle, or discard unused items. We'll open the resort to circulate fresh air in the rooms, and I'll escort lower energies away. You'll notice huge improvements in all areas of your life as a result of this endeavor. Working with Archangel Jophiel. Jophiel's aura is deep rose pink, signifying her beautiful, loving, and caring nature. Dark spirit crystals such as pinks, rubellite, are most associated with jubilite's energy. Anytime you're involved with redecorating or spring cleaning, call upon Jophiel to help you. It's like having your own spiritual interior decorator and feng shui consultant. Okay. So there we have all the readings. For Rashida. Next up is Lisa Gregg. Ah. Well, I'll tell you, I won't draw any more because these four dropped out at me. So you get four cards. Because it's an omen, and I think it might apply to you. Okay, gifts from God. Archangel Sandalphon, we angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. Additional message, heaven is expansive and ever increasing. One of the ways in which heaven expands is through giving and sending love continuously. This love is sent your way in many forms, and your only task now is to be willing to accept. Right now, the answers to your prayers await your willing reception. Open your arms to these gifts. Your Creator wills that you will be happy, healthy, secure, and that... Sorry. And that... All your needs will be met. All your needs will be provided. Release any fears of receiving to me. 
Creative writing. Archangel Gabriel, make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen an article or book. Your soul longs for creative expression through writing, for I can help you schedule this activity. Honor any indo in Honor any interior nudges that write you, that guide you to write. The writing may be for your own enjoyment or may be cathartic experience of self-expression in a private journal. As you work with your connection to the written world, you may receive divine guidance to write articles or books for location. Call upon me at any time to guide you through this process. Working with Archangel Gabriel as the messenger angel, Gabriel loves to help writers and journalists deliver healing messages. Like a loving coach, he'll earn you to delete your time and energy toward writing. Gabriel can also hope open or Gabriel can also open doors that allow for publication of your articles and books. If you'll enjoy asking for his assistance, most of all, he'll help you enjoy writing. Next one is spread your wings. Here we go. Spread your wings. Spread your wings. Don't hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you're ready to soar. Additional message. Although you may feel intimidated, by the prospect of change and the thought of moving past your comfort zone, you're ready to fly high. Welcome to new po welcome to new welcome welcome new opp opportunities and know that it's safe to follow your love and dreams. Keep your focus upon love, service, and spirit, and avoid naysayers or skeptics. Remember that you inspire others with your story of in, to, in, in turning challenges into victories. Working with Archangel Ariel. Ariel loves all things living and gradually helps them all. She's a mastermind, a master manipulator, and she's especially, she's especially supportive of people who are healers, teachers, and so, sir, service worship. She's very partial toward healers, teachers, and service workers. She's also partial to the environment area, and she works closely with the nature nature angels to protect and heal animals, particularly the late bird animals and fish who live near or or in the water. One way to work with Ariel is to participate in environmental work, including picking up trash near a lake, stream, or ocean, donating time or money to an environmental cause, or switching to environmentally cheap, friendly cleaning supplies. And last one here on that is brilliant. Uh, idea brilliant idea this is from archangel Ur uriel yes your idea is divinely guided please take action to bring your idea to fruitation your idea is an answered prayer even though it may push you past your comfort zone knowing god doesn't give you anything you can't handle ask for and be willing to receive all the support that you'll need to bring the idea to fruition. Know that I'll be there all along the way, and you can ask for, for me for help at any time. I'm especially glad to give you ideas and creative insights to support your life's purpose. Working with Archangel Uriel. Uriel's energy is pale yellow like a candle's glow. Whenever you need in, in, to, intellect or ideas, Contact Uriel. His energy is aligned with the amber crystal. Let's see what uh, is up next. Okay, next we have 
Bridget. We had some people that wanted the rune cards. Now, while I, I read runes, too, as you'll see here in a little bit, these rune cards follow the same runes, except you don't get quite as many, but the uh, meaning you do get is a lot more in-depth than what I give in my readings. First off, we have Berkana. Hagalaz or Hagalaz. I've seen it. And this one is Kunaz. When you hear runes and the pronunciation of them, it's all slightly different because. No one knows exactly how they're pronounced. The pronunciation wasn't passed down. And all they know is by reconstructing other languages from the time period that was close to this language, um, they, were, they were able to uh, generally summarize what the names would be. Okay, Berkana. The meaning is swan. The key word is creativity. The rune is linked to fertility, beauty, and the ability to take care of others, all classic feminine attitudes. A woman runs to meet a child, and in the background, a swan, symbol of, pur of purity, swims gently in the lake. The time has come to celebrate creative creativity, tenderness, and strength that come from the receptive, and the strength that come from being receptive. There is great beauty in all the service of others. Inspiration comes only to those who know how to listen and embrace the stimuli surrounding them, with necessarily acting right away. If we are able to do each other's without asking for anything in return, do we believe tenderness is for the weak, or do we consider it an important value? Burkana prevents those who are on the verge of giving birth to either a child or in the flesh, or symbolically. Okay. So if you're pregnant, this card is for you. Um, if not, it's uh, something you're working on. It is working about and coming about and working out good. Next we have Agalaz. The meaning is hailstorm. Keyword aggression. Agalaz signifies wind, bad weather, and is Connected to dangerous and destructive forces in timing of crisis, a ferocious wolf is about to attack a horse beneath threatening sky preceding a storm. The forces of nature can be violent and unpredictable. Often in life, unexpected things happen that we are unable to foresee. Dark forces are set in motion that we could do this, we could accept this, as an ancient ancient sin, we can accept this as an ancient symbol of death, so as to rebuild on top of the ruins. The card is tied to our darker side and our aggression. We must know them in order to be able to consider them. How dare we, with crises and diminishing time, do we feel victimized by authority to? 
reverse destiny or do what we all think we're partially responsible for what happens. The power of the runes. Hagalaz represents an awareness of our decent upsets and pretends in windows of uh, 18. And the last one is Kanunas. Meaning torch. Key word is passion. The rune is tied to fire, which is at once carrier of light and heat, but also destruction. A young torch bearer has two torches in hand, and a flame that burns el eliminates the wish wisdom of the youth, who is full of passion and enthusiasm. Each time that something new enters our lives, useful energies are set in motion, and our gaze is illuminated by prospects that we had not taken into consideration, but we must not pass ourselves to be bl blinded by illusions or overdeveloped plans. Let's reflect on how does the strength of desire become part of our life and transform it. Are we able to achieve what we want, or do our dreams just become a destructive force? Are our ambitions commiserate with potential? The power of the rune. Kanaz increases our vitality, making us resourceful and is inexcellent in regards to emotional issues. All right. So, Bridget, I hope that meant something to you. And next up for the room cards, we have Sherry Knots. Ingus means protection, and of course, this looks like a fort. The rune is associated with the self-confidence that makes us even more open to others. A fortress depend, defended on each side by a tower guards the entrance to a building that could be a temple or symbolizes our inner selves. This card has double meaning. It represents a safe haven in a physical sense, as well as access to a higher special dimension. If, as if to say, in, or, in order to embark on a journey, we must first take care of our well-being and safety. Without a solid base and a place to return to, to and feel protected, no matter taken will end well. No action taken will end well. Are our relationships resting on solid foundations? Do we treat our body as temple or do we tend to ignore it? Do we believe that external order reflects the internal and vice versa? Ingus makes us disciplined and directed towards self-realization. It provides balance, stability, and strength. And I think that's all. That's all for Ingus. Next one is Osilla, meaning nobility. Keywords, tradition. The rune is connected to wealth, but above all, to what we inherit for our ancestors. A noble sheep, luxuriously dressed, studies a golden urn covered with precious stones that more than likely is part of the treasure left to him by his ancestors. Blood ties, however problematic, are in intolerable, are still important and implicate us for our, all of our lives. It is essential to recognize their virtue and recognize that we are the result of our past, and we must start from our pods to de deliver our heritage that is rich and parallel. Do we respect our ancestors and their traditions? Which tie do we find difficult to abandon? And which, on the other hand, would it be wise to respect would it be wise to rediscover? Othila anchors us to our identity. It reinforces blood ties and bestows well-being. And the last one is Gebo. Let me find Gebo. Okay, Gebo means gift. Key word is gratitude. This rune relates to feelings of gratitude. 
you have when given something as well as generously in giving to others. A young man offers a cup that, a few, that appears full and abundant. His expression is serene and generous as well as resolved and dignified. Gabo means gift in the material, emotional, and spiritual case. Devotion and rewards are the two fundamental aspects of this card. We must not be afraid to make the first move and act freely without asking for anything in return. This attitude is actually a sign of inner strength. Are we capable of giving love? Does our presence enrich group moments and make them more peaceful? Do we tend to absorb energies from others? Or do we give them generously? Are we a reference point for others? Gabo helps to open our hearts to the ideas of brotherhood and cooperation. Okay, there you go. Kim Fitzgerald asked for whispers of love. And while I'm getting that, you all might uh, might ask yourself or might ask me why I'm taping this instead of going live. Well, I am taping this because... These readings are longer, especially the card readings, because I'm doing three card pullings instead of one. Now, when I go live, I only pull one card. And the same with the tarot readings. I read the long form, not the short form that I give when I go live. Okay, the first one. Oh, I grabbed up two instead of one. One on top, consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. And, oops. And it's got a house with uh, some animals out in front and some uh, angels and all sorts of stuff. Whispers of love. The heart of the matter. There is more going on than meets the eye. The heart of the man matter. And the last one is True love. The love is once uh, is once in a lifetime. This love is once in a lifetime. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> Consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. Love means committing without guarantees. In love, we give ourselves completely in the hope it will be lasting. Love is an act of faith. Surround yourself with love and know that your life will be stronger for it. Strong relationships and love can come from friendship. For lasting love, support those you treasure and be a genuine friend. So your relationships are based on affection, common values, and shared respect. Take things slow. It is an improvement not to rush. Release any fears that you have about love. If a person brings out the best in you and you in them, things are on the right track. A couple embraces as they look back at a charming cottage. We see the couple from, ba from the back, and this indicates that you may not have the full picture. However, there is no need to push or control what is unfolding. The candles in your tree branches... Bring light and positive meaning to you. Okay. Next one is uh, the heart of the matter. The heart of the matter. There is more going on than meets the eye. Take a moment to get to the genuine, genuine in issues in this card. Take a moment to get to the genuine issues in this situation. The truth of what is going on lies at the very heart of the situation. 
be honest and willing to do whatever is necessary to take care of this. Whether you see your current scenario as positive or negative, it is happening for a reason. Awareness and understanding will help you see beyond your current situation. It may feel difficult at first, but with time you may feel differently and understand why things unfold as they did. Even if you are emotional upheaval, there is an outcome that will bring love and blessings. A beautiful angel watches over a slumbering child while Madrid fills her slumber. Sometimes if what you what you feels like you are surrounded by far more than you can comprehend. This card is shown to you as there is a higher power working on your behalf. You are watched over and loved. A situation will be resolved in no time. True love. This love is once in a lifetime. This relationship is part of your life's plan. Unconditional love is easier said than done. Remember the love aspect of your partnership. If it is a true relationship, the connection will be almost perfectly balanced. Maintaining the love in a relationship takes more than good intentions. Positive intentions are a solid footstep, but it is better to learn how to nurture your relationship each day. This is vital to staying connected and growing your love into a strong bond. Be open to love when it shows up in your life. Be authentic and avoid changing yourself to mirror your potential partner. Make sure you are voicing your values. True love is exclusive, elusive, and we're... True love is elusive and rare. Look for someone who meets your emotional, spiritual, and physical needs. The young lover's eventual kiss might be portraying a true, lasting kiss. The sparrow on the left may indicate elevated thoughts and standards. The sparrow encourages you to keep your heart light and on release heavier energy. The child next to the sparrow rep represents childlike energy. The child next to the sparrow represents childlike ide ideology, and is a message to enjoy the moments as they present themselves. The pair of unicorns at the head of the partnership on the right invokes the ma magical energy surrounding the relationship you aspire aspire to achieve. Woo! Didn't think I was going to get that one out. I hope that answers your question, Kim. And the last one for the Oracle cards is Jesse James. And he wants the I Ching. Or the I Ching, as I sometimes call it. But I love the artwork on these cards. It's Chinese artwork. Hold on. It's like they're paintings, only they're done in sepia. Tones. Very beautiful and simple, and they're all scenes. Okay, 44 means ku, coming to meet. Above heaven, below wind. Wind is under heaven, inferior elements rise. The restless wind troubles the peaceful relationship between the heaven and earth. In the same way, the inferior person seeks to stir unrest and disturb the peace. Such a person should not be underestimated. It's best to meet them directly and confront disturbances before it can go cause much damage. The problem will not go away on its own. 
It must be met and conquered. Next one is 33. It's tune, retreat, above heaven, below mountain. The mountain extends to ever to heaven, a judicious retreat. The enemy has the advantage under the present circumstances. A retreat is the wisest course, but for future success, it must be well considered. The mountain provides shelter and the perspective that comes from rising above the situation. From this vantage point, the next battles can be pl calmly planned. And finally, 12. Okay. This is P, Pi, P. It means stand still above heaven, below earth. Heaven and earth do not unite. Land still brings stagnation. When, heart, heart, when harshness and darkness prevail, even the best people may withdraw from society to avoid being corrupted. By protecting themselves rather than activity working for the purpose to seize power, in time passivity can become stagnant and the will to fight is exhausted. Okay. So there you go. I hope that might made some sense to you. Jesse? Cecilia? For you? Something is drawing me to this deck. It is the Native American Oracle cards. I don't know why. I don't know if you even have any Indian in you for this to come up, which doesn't matter. You can still have it drawn. The Calumet is the largest of the Native American pipes and one of their most sacred objects. White buffalo women taught humans about it and the rituals associated with it. It used to seal confidence or treaties as a way to ensure peace. It was also used in rituals to ask favors from the gods and nature. As soon as it was lit, it was raised toward the sun, then lowered to pay homage to the earth, and finally in the four directions. The message, find a way to create a peaceful, mutually beneficial situation, honoring and respecting each other. Peace, contract, alliance, recompense, honor. The time, lucky time for you is Thursdays. Next up, 16. Come on, one more. Okay. Oh boy, I'll try this name. Tecumol, the god of rain. Gestation. Tecumo was, once upon a time, a creator god who was called he who sewed up the world. He arose from form, from water, the only thing that existed. For the California Yuki, uh, Takimo is he who walks alone and so created the world. After creating a world, including humans and giving them language, he ascended to the skies and lives as an old wayfarer, a pilgrim of the heavens detached from the lines of humans. When it rains, whenever life is nurtured and brought forward, we are reminded of his great gifts. Meaning, let the water of your heart burst with and nourish the words around you. Give no expectations of repayment. He word is gestation, solitude, Fertility, tears, cleansing, and healing. Their time is autumn, too. So autumn seems to be a good month for you. And last one is... Oh, drumroll, please. Uh, huh. I, re I said drumroll, and uh, the next card that comes up is the drum. 
bizarre. Okay. The shaman walks between worlds, moving with ease between the visible and invisible world, and thus sees connections. Via his journeys to spirit, he has experienced many things, and dedication allows him to communicate with the uh, the spirit on the, on behalf of others, and brings healing along a path of personal control that leads to true freedom, and accepts the decks that their next path freedom from the physical world. True freedom, true freedom comes through self knowledge and discipline and understanding of the world, comfort, passion, or service for others, kingdom, liberty, freedom, arrival, guidance, ability, devotion, discipline, sacrifice, and suffering for a greater good, independent on the seeker's will. The spread of the sacred space. Think about your questions. Shuffle the cards. Um, never mind. And that's all that. That's all she wrote about that. Cecilia, I hope that made some sense to you. Next up, we have uh, Cecilia. And these were what she originally requested. Before she went and run, went and, went and won all four readings. Oh, and one standing up, so you get that automatically. Okay. Hmm. Let's see what else we get. Okay, I am not feeling anything on these. So Cecilia, boy, all, all of these are coming up as three readings, or three rune readings. Okay, this one's Dag, which means day. Um, it represents ambition, light, a breakthrough, growth, or cosmic consciousness. Okay. Under this rune, you want to pay attention to your premonitions, your uh, your gut feeling in a lot of stuff. You know, it's going to be right. It, it's going to be very right for a little while, okay? But it's warning you here, don't become stubborn or do anything crazy. Um Someone may be trying to deceive you. Look out for that. Okay. And finally, we have uh, wind, which means wind. Wind means wind. Okay. And it's uh, dissatisfaction, misery, fear, impatience, and headstrong. And it looks like that might be because you're not following this warning here and not listening to advice or something. Um, you have to be real careful about these runes and follow them because if you don't, a lot of times they're followed by, uh, excuse me, a lot of times they're followed by uh, Kind of negative events. Okay, so that's all we had for the runes. For Cecilia. Cecilia. Okay, for Cecilia. I, first of all, have to uh, throw the dash. Now, 
Okay. It's going to be lesser. Whatever it is. Okay. One on top is Scorpio, which is a water sign. So you have water over lesser. Um, what's that one? Um, Neptune. Yes, which is water. So water over lesser water. So let me look up your reading for water over lesser water. Okay, the mental image of this is like the rain on the lily pond, emotional nurtured, gentle happiness and refreshment, raindrops disturbing the surface of a pond with green leaves and lily pads floating on it. Water can be a challenging element and when disrupted by another coming in strength, in great strength, then the upheaval to emotions can be severe. This doesn't do that. Instead, it smooths the water with a light rain. It reassures us that the emotional connections are the white, right ones to pursue and provides its own caring touch. Readings dissolve away barriers and provide a peaceful, restful environment. There is no heat, no forbidding walls, only the calming sound of rain on water. Yes, you will get wet without shelter of earth or heat of fire. But a pleasant uh, but a pleasant rain in a calm environment does not need to be fought against. Embrace the caring pop properties of water with no solid ground. There is no choice but to go with the flow and appreciate beauty that is given to us. If someone is feeling partially vulnerable, then that's, that's, it's true. That's no shelter even from this light rainfall. However, the message is one of support. The emotions you're already feeling are valid by uh, one of support. This emotion you're already feeling, water is ironically giving the young, you, you, the strength to look forward and find a few new elements. There is only water in this picture, but new influence has failed and a lesser is in strength. This means trying a different one now that it now could be more successful. The most pleasant way to enjoy the music of raindrops and chirping frogs in a lily can be under shelter right next to it. The, the brain is beautiful to look at as it hits the pond surface to it. The rain is sadful. Uh, where is it? No, come on. Okay, the rain is beautiful to look at as it hits upon the pond surface and the green plants, but it's even better when you're seeing it from somewhere dry. Earth is therefore one of the best elements to move when your world is full of water. A mountain made of quickly charging and its natural course, there's an oracle building out where Helmer is outside of blue. Um, okay. <laughs> Now, I've done all the rooms, the tarot cards, the dice. Now I'm going to hop over there and do your rune readings. 
Okay. Now, for Cecilia. Cecilia. Okay, Cecilia. Um, hmm. Okay, sorry about that. My my battery died. Let me move these over just a little bit so you can get a better look at all of them. Don't know how small they're going to be on your lens, but uh, on on your your picture, whatever you have, you're watching this on. Okay, I see news of a loss, and it's going to affect you somehow. It's going to affect you um, spiritually. You're going to turn, um, become a little bit more uh, materialistic, less uh, less spiritual of a person. You're going to think of, uh, concentrate on things more than your spiritual outlook. Um, I see things have been going places in the past. They've been on the roll. And uh, something's changed where you've had to uh, start uh, watching your your money. You've had to start hoarding, not hoarding necessarily, but holding back money for some reason. Well, it looks like that's going to change rapidly because here you are being generous and giving away money. And for some reason, you're, you've got something to celebrate. So something happened in here that I'm not sure what. It didn't, doesn't say, except these might say every year. Okay. You had regrets. You were looking back on something that in the past that uh, you couldn't bring with you. It was lost. It was something, someone you had to leave behind. And it really bothered you. And it looks like you're trying to get over it. But it's still haunting you. Okay? It's still giving you nightmares and stuff and for some reason you just can't be happy it kind of blocks your happiness um, I uh, I don't know if this is a person or a thing but it, it really bothers you and it's left you really kind of in a position where you're afraid uh, afraid of, to make another move maybe afraid of um, meeting another person like that, or uh, getting another thing like that, um, afraid that you might lose it again. Um, but you're just kind of walking carefully, pacing yourself, and uh, not uh, going about it uh, haphazardly, I should say. So I know 
it seems kind of jumbled a bit here, but uh, hopefully, Cecilia, you might understand at least some of this. Uh, I really hope so. Okay, Susan Parker. Susan Parker. Okay, Susan. You got payoff. Which, uh, which is your destiny? Um, now you're gonna have revealed secrets coming, and also. With those secrets could come unexpected results. Perhaps someone's being disloyal to you. Let's read the rest to see what's going on. It might come up again. Siegel. It means sun. It also means victory. Clear vision, honor, achievement, rest. Hagel. This one in this position means limits, upheavals, risks, delays. Okay. Odal in this position refers to home, property, heritage, dwelling. And it could also mean that you have a mountain to climb, figuratively speaking. And the last one here is ale it refers to the yew tree um it represents rebirth perseverance quest conflict and success and what that one means is basically something you've been working on that hasn't been quite successful you're going to find a new interest in it maybe and a new excitement and passion to it and you're going to get back into it and finish it up. And you're going to do a great job. Um, that could be for any task, whether it's yours exactly or it's for somebody else. Um, it's going to work out great. You're going to do a great job. But like I said before, um, along the way, you're going to have uh, some conflict. But ultimately, you're going to have success. So, yeehaw for you, Susan. Okay. I like the ones that end on a happy note. Get my rings mixed up good. This next one goes to T Coop. T Group, okay. We got that one, and that one. 
And that one. Okay, let's see what we got. If anything more. Okay, unfortunately, I didn't find any of those. So, T. Coop, you're going to have a short reading today. Sorry, but that's all that came up. Okay, I see trickery in your future. Someone's going to try to trick you. Uh, they're going to try to interfere in your life and deceive you. Be aware of them. Beware of them. And try to be aware of them. Okay, I see an upset in plans possibly b brought about this uh, trickster. Uh, delays. Maybe unexpected travel. Not sure about that. And you might just be feeling kind of lost in, in things. Um, and last but not least, we have uh, Odo which means home, um, but in this case, it also means recklessness, uh, frustration, hassled. So, whatever this person does to you is going to really cause some problems in your life. So, try to catch them if you can before they start this trouble, okay? That's my advice to you. T. Coop. Next up is Lisa Hazard. Ooh. Try this. Lisa Howard is the next is my next victim. <laughs> okay, Lisa Howard. Okay, Lisa Howard, sorry, you only got three. Okay, at least most of them are in an upright position, which is normally pretty good. Okay, this is uh, Rod, or Rado, and it means the wheel. It also could mean a journey. But I'm thinking it possibly means more of a spiritual journey, an emotional journey of some sort. I see messages coming your way. Um, a good time for a, a job or career. Um, you're in control of the situation. 
coming up or at this moment. You cannot do the wrong action. Anything you do is going to turn out great. Enjoy that while you have it, okay? Um, next one is man, manaz. It refers to a human. Uh, it uh, represents the self. And it's saying, time to take care of yourself. Time to concentrate on yourself. Um, but don't go overboard, okay? Don't, uh, don't become too extreme. Okay, and with this rune, uh, rune comes uh, like deep thought, uh, generosity, and creativity. So you can enjoy that rune for a little while. Now, the last one. Okay, this is why I said earlier, enjoy this while you can, because I see with this one, this is uh, Ur. Or, I'm sorry, Theo, and it means cattle. But in this position, it means disappointments, loss, money problems, or arguments. And a lot of times it's arguments over money, which is how a lot of arguments get started. So, okay, there you go, Lisa Howard. I hope that made some sense to you. There, this will also be an announcement for the next set of readings. Now, I'm drawing, doing another drawing um, and another sign-up for card readings. Well, not just card readings, but all my readings. Um, okay, and so down below at the bottom of the page... Yeah, on YouTube, the bottom of the YouTube page. It's got to be on your YouTube page because um, I won't see it on any other page, Facebook or anywhere else. It's got to be on the YouTube page at the bottom. And you can put a like if you don't mind. But at the bottom, um, sign up your name, and I'm giving away one reading to everybody guaranteed. And there's an exception to that, but I'll tell you that in a little bit. One reading, okay? I can give you a reading from my runes, from tarot cards, from the dice. Uh, I can give you a, a dream reading, or I can try at least. And I can give an oracle card reading. Now, if you want an oracle card, this is what I've got. Okay, and I'm going to lay them out here for you to see. And you can tell me. I know they're kind of small. I'll see how many I can get out here at a time. Oh, no lids open on that, but that's okay. Okay, one more. I can put up one more little one, and I'll put that in there. Okay. Now, if you want an oracle card, okay, if you want the soul's journey, this will be number one. If you want botanical inspirations, this will be number two. If you want whispers of love, this will be number three. If you want a gilded reverie, this will be number four. If you want Archangel Oracle cards, 
this will be number five. Shamanic healing, this will be number six. Past life oracle cards, this will be number seven. Black Moon Oracle Cards, this will be number 8. Uh, Madame and Dora's Fortune Cards, this will be number 9. Okay, if you want the I Ching Cards, this will be number 10. If you want Angels and Ancestors, this will be number 11. Moonology will be number 12, excuse me. Native American Oracle Cards will be number 13. Here's Rune Cards. This will be number 14. And one last one. Mystical Shaman Oracle. This will be number 15. So, okay, if you want an oracle card reading, please write oracle card and which number deck you would like. That way you don't have to write it all out. Just give me a number. Okay? Now, if you want, if you'd rather have rune reading, write, uh, write out runes. That'll help that way it won't be confused with the oracle cards, which are rune cards. I do the actual runes also. And people like that a lot. Um, anyway, as I was mentioned earlier, there's going to be something special too, and that's a drawing. And when I do the drawings, I pick a name out of everyone that's asking for a reading so you have to ask for a reading in order to get put on this list okay you ask for a reading and you get put on this list and one of the names will be drawn and out of those out of the name that is drawn that lucky person will get one of each type of reading that i do Okay, it's drawn at random, so I can't guarantee anybody in particular will be getting it.